I'm such a beautiful thing. All right, it's been 10 exact days that we have been in Canada. My wife's 10 days here in Canada. What do you think, my love? What do you think about Canada? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. So, very cold, very cold? Mm, no, it's okay. It's okay. What do you have going here, my love? I'm just uh, sitting. Setting up everything, organizing everything. Look how cool these things are. Look at this. <laughs> Holy feasts are coming tonight. So thank you my love for organizing my shelf space it has labels on everything All the spices are here. Look at this my food selection. We're gonna do a nice celebration Welcome to Canada feast and we're gonna cook a Canadian feast here in Canada. So in Canada, of course in Canada, I'm getting, I'm getting confused, but let's go! Cheer beef here! So, big shout to Newfoundland Labrador, big shout to the Ralphies. I cooked this last time, it was very, very salty. So this is three times cooked in water, and just kind of dump it out every time, so hopefully it's not too salty. We got four or five liters of water in here, we got good old classic potato, rusted. Everybody in the pool, I can just swim, gotta get in, ow! So two big jumbo ones, we got some carrots here, nice source and locally. That's nice source and locally here. Uh, we got rutabag and um, parsnip as well. Just half a, woo, ow. Half a what? Half a root. We got one beautiful cabbage in as well. Everybody in here can swim. Just have to get it. So you don't have to put any seasoning, no nothing in it. We just gotta douse it in gravy in the end. So we're just gonna boil this for about two to three hours minimum, all right? Alberta prime rib. Where all my Albertans at? You know we got the best beef in the world. You know we got the best beef in the world. It's been a while since I had some Alberta beef. So, some people are gonna dog me for it. Montreal Steak Spice Pond, there's so much more than Montreal Steak Spice. So we got, I wanna say, a cup, a cup of Montreal Steak Spice, two to tables, let's go a tablespoon of white pepper, tablespoon of black pepper. Then we're just gonna mix around. Nice piece of Alberta beef here, all we're gonna do, Douse with a little oil to the three tablespoons. Give it a nice massage all around. Oh man, it's been a while, my guy. Take our seasoning heavily right onto it. This doesn't have a nice fat cap on it. I'm not sure why they took out the fat cap, but it's still not uh, good. So I'm just gonna do it all around, but not, not the face, okay? Not the face. Just back and front. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. Our oven's preheated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? All we gotta do is take our prime rib on the second rack. Please, when you open it, it is gonna be very hot. We're gonna toss it in on the second rack from the bottom. We're gonna close this up. We're gonna set the time for 40 minutes and we don't open for 40 minutes, all right? After 40 minutes, we're gonna turn off the heat and don't open this. It is now done. So all we're gonna do, turn off the oven, then we just let it be, all right? We just let it be. We don't open this until 2.49, all right? Also got to mention, 40 minutes in, I took out all my vegetables and just laid it there. Our corned beef or our salted beef is still going for an additional, I'll say, one more hour until it becomes nice and soft, but our sides, okay, I'm not gonna show you what I do with my sides, but we got some mushroom for our prime rib. We got some asparagus for our primary. I'm just gonna do some olive oil, um, some garlic, and I'm just gonna saute it, right? I'm gonna do it at the end. We got these salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and just kind of saute this and just kind of throw it in the oven until it becomes nice and crispy. So demi glaze. So demi glaze is gonna be for our beautiful prime rib. I do got an instant one just because I have no time to do a good demi glaze just now for our prime rib. So one big beautiful scoop. We're gonna taste, ooh, taste and adjust for our liking, all right? With the demi-glaze, you kind of want it a bit runny. Not too much as a, a gravy, which we're gonna make just right now. Let's go four tablespoons of butter in, four tablespoons of flour. Then all we're gonna do, brown it. We're gonna get it nice and brown and coated, right? I'll show you. Look at my wife. I love what are you doing? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. My wife is starting a farm. So, we're not even sure if the asparagus would grow. So we kind of have the, the bits, the end pits of the asparagus. My wife does have green onion as well. This plant, we gotta return back to my dad. <laughs> he gifted us it and he kind of 
uh, wanted it back, but we got this going. So germination time. We got a bunch of things. We're going to test it out in the beginning. Um, my wife does have a lot of germination stuff going on. Here we go. My roux is nice and nutty. All we're going to do, 700 ml of water in. Concentrated chicken bouillon. We're going to go in with two to three tablespoons. Let's go three. Time to season. Tablespoon. Onion powder. Tablespoon. Garlic powder. Look at this. How convenient is that? And it's labeled. Holy. Half teaspoon dry thyme. Half teaspoon of dry basil. Teaspoon of parsley. Going with a tablespoon of salt. Take some adjust for your seasoning. And a teaspoon of black pepper. Let that boil up and get thick. I just want to show you this gravy. That's a quality gravy right there. This is going to be our gravy for our protein and our jigsaw. I was going to say jigsaw, our jig dinner. Okay, Nova Scotia, you're up next. So, salt my water. Beautiful lobster, ready right to the pool for about, I'm going to say, six to eight minutes because these are tiny. Let that boil. Over on this side, BC, you're next. We got Dungeness crab here. We're gonna steam these for about, I wanna say, 12 to 16 minutes. Oh. Hey, okay. ice bath it goes. Well, kinda ice bath, just cold water, no ice on my today. So, I'm gonna come swim in here. Here we go, nice and cool, shall we? Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh yes, beautiful. I want my wife to try it nice and pure just because I'm not sure if she likes the mayonnaise and the celery going on, but just by itself, my love, here. Give it a try. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> very sweet. Very sweet, eh? Yeah. Just boiling water. Oh, very good. Very good? <laughs> Very wow. good. Now we gotta put it in mayonnaise. Okay, nice simple recipe. So, our lobster, we're gonna cut it nice and chunky. Okay. Put this in. Let's mince it down. Beauty. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. And that's it, all right? If you want more mayonnaise, put more mayonnaise, but I feel like this is enough. Let the lobster speak in this beautiful dish here, all right? All right, last thing. Oh man, can't forget. Fresh fries. Now, we're gonna clean this with two waters. We got them nice and dry, we got hot oil here. We're gonna pre-blast them so everybody in the pool I don't care if they can swim, they just have to get in. We're gonna blast these babies for about eight minutes, all right? Eight minutes in, what are we gonna do? Pull these out. Spread them out. Fries going in for the second time for additional eight minutes or until your desired, desired crispiness hit. All right, shall we set it up? So, I got some lobster rolls here. Well, not really, these are actually Damster buns, so Damster from Costco that I just kind of grilled up like this and I cut in half Don't tell anybody and I grilled it with butter. So we're gonna cheat a bit. We're gonna make it look like I've got the classic Lobster and rolls, but I actually don't <laughs> Hey, squeeze that in Like this Nova Scotia, you're first. I'm gonna leave Alberta for last because we got that beautiful brown Nova Scotia rolls, lobster rolls. Just gonna finish it off with fresh chives. We got some lemon slices to bring out some color. Nova Scotia. What do you think? Next, our jig dinner. So, we found that Labrador. Where you guys at? Might look a little dry, but just wait for the gravy, all right? 
my gloves are clean. <laughs> I don't know why I said my gloves are clean, but these gloves are clean. I could get tongs, but nah. I don't use my hands. So it's pretty much just all around. Carrots. What else am I missing? This bad boy right here. Stuffing. Beautiful kitty gang, eh? Hooray. All over. Move for now, water door. Your call. Does it look good? Yeah, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Montreal, Quebec. I got some for you. So I did store bought this is because I have no time. I can't find the, what is it, that pink salt? So we gotta go to Costco and buy it. I will do a video on this right now, but we got this right here, okay? I just boiled it up. I'm cheating a bit, okay? But I want my wife to have the full experience. There it is. Pop up the top. Too, too big. Very simple, very easy. Boom, boom, boom. Cut it down right in the middle. Cutie gang, man. Boom. Boom. My goodness, my goodness. My wife was just kind of playing along with some things right now and she had a really great idea. Okay, even better, better. Just to give it some flavor and color. That's beautiful, my love, thank you. Should we gourmet the, the chips? <laughs> Perfect. All right, VC, you're up. I kind of like just keeping it simple like that. Um, I did have a crab opener somewhere, so this is gonna be your crab opener. <laughs> your crab picker outer, meat picker outer here. Okay. We got some lemons here, your butter. And we're just gonna douse these bad boys with some parsley. Okay, there it is. Steam crab with the hammer. <laughs> BC, you know what I'm talking about, BC. Come on, BC. Give me some. <laughs> All right, Quebec, you get two. Just because you guys always got to make a big fuss about everything when it comes out of Quebec and Canada. Just kidding, guys. Love from Alberta, right? Love from Alberta? <laughs> I love you, okay? I love you, Quebec. We're just teasing. Albertans like to tease. Here we go. Guys, cheese curd. My goodness. QT gang, may I? Hot gravy on top. Okay. I don't want too much gravy at this point just because I don't want my fries to be soggy, eh? Don't be like, oh, Quan, the cheese curd didn't melt yet. Yes, I know. Just wait. Quebecers. <laughs> Quebecers. Like I was saying, relax. Your friend from Alberta, Travis. All right, Alberta. Where are my Albertans at? Cutie gang, may I? Okay, I'm just gonna slice this bad boy out for a bit. Then we're gonna go eight ounces or six ounces, okay? Beautiful. Keep you dang man. Show you the perfect prime rib. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Holy moly. That's perfectly cooked. Okay, the light on this 
might be a little off just because my lighting, but I just want to show you this lighting. Okay? That's perfect. That's perfect. As an Alberta boy, I love my Alberta beef and my Alberta community. Big shout out to all the Albertans out there. Represent. So if you guys are from uh, Edmonton, North side. <laughs> the thing with prime rib or any type of meat, once it gets some oxygen on it, it starts coloring. So I'm gonna squish them all together like this. I'm gonna flip you guys around like this. Oh man. Wanna slice? The best slice, it's in the middle. Right here. Oh man. Okay, I'm sorry. Just gotta show you my meat. I'll start playing with it, right? I got some sauteed mushroom and some garlic as well. Got some chaz. Toss it up. And toss it here. There we go. My wife sauteed up some beautiful asparagus and butter. We got some creamy horseradish here. Let's give it some gourmet color. <laughs> Some gourmet around to you. Last touch. You can skip this step if you want, but I just want some color action going on. Demi gloss. Just a touch. Finish it off with some more gourmet dust. Alberta. What is that? Only one last thing left. <laughs> it's good to be home. Welcome home, my love. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all these sons command, with glory and hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free, from far and wide, oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. My wife's holding the Canadian flag right now. Welcome home, my love. It's good to be home, my love. Hey, we're just gonna do a bit of everything. So keep it nice and sanitized. When we do keep it nice and sanitized, we just gonna give this food all away. To who? My family, my neighbor, you guys, if you guys want some, I got you. My wife's sample plate. Looking mighty tasty. Wait, I gotta cover my wife's face. Look at my, ooh, 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 that cheese though. Let's come and get your Canadian plate at Quan's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. So we're gonna put the crab to the side and we're gonna go on with this hot plate first then we'll go with the full plate. So that's the poutine cheese. cheese that's the Canadian cheese. Good. You like the cheese? Yeah. Mm, very good. Very good <laughs> very good cheese? Yeah. But does it squeak? Wow, probably. Okay. Very fatty. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Poutine. Super pumped this. It's been a while. Very good, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's balanced. <laughs> it's balanced, right? There's a lot of things that's just balanced. Not a lot of poutine. Like, I like poutine, but not like a lot of poutine. Try this. Because I kind of melted their cheese. Let's try this one. Because it squeaks in your mouth. <laughs> she has to experience it. If it's squeaky, I know she doesn't like the cheese. You like the cheese? It's okay. I like it. eh? It's okay. Mm. What's that? It does not heavy. Mm. The rib. Yeah, that's good Canadian dairy right there. Canadian dairy. You rather good it? <laughs> good it. <laughs> Is it squeaky? <laughs> yes. That's the Canadian experience. It goes. 
<laughs> right in her, her, um, her chair is squeaking as well. So, Alberta prime rib. Oh, I'll wait for my wife to have a bite of that prime rib. Cheese good? Poutine is good? Yeah, the is very good. Okay. Try the prime rib, my love. Mm. Oh, wait. Okay. Try the meat first. Yeah, try the meat first. It's not blood. It's called a. Google it <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I saw it on TikTok. But this is how you're supposed to eat prime rib. You have to, you have to eat it uh, this color. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think about Alberta beef. I think you got a fat piece. No, that's a good piece. Hopefully it's not too salty. Mm. It's, it might be a little salty, my life because you're eating uh, the outside. Yeah, I get it in the middle. I'm, I'm, I want her to have the perfect uh, prime rib bite because she's eating the crust of the prime rib. So I kind of want... Oh, that's a big one. Go. Mmm. <laughs> Very fatty. And juicy. Yeah. Very juicy. Mm. I love prime rib. Mostly Alberta prime rib. The thing, you're gonna get some dummy glass and mm. horseradish. Not sure where you eat this. You wanna try this one? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like wasabi. I'm gonna put some on it. It's like wasabi. Just dip it. Mm, just dip it. It's creamy. It's creamy horseradish. What do you think? Let's try. Mm. It's a now light. Wasabi? wasabi? Yeah, but it's not, mm, not spicy. strong. Mm. Mm -mm. I got the creamy horseradish for you just because uh, I'm not sure if you could eat the the horseradish, the actual horseradish here. So, okay. And you gotta have a bite of everything to get the full Canadian experience. Dummy glass? Mm -hmm. You try some out? Dummy glass with the mushrooms so <laughs> Mm. You try, try it on your uh, prime rib. Mm. Of course, so. mm. Just a bit. Just a touch like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can eat it however you want. I just want to have the full experience. That's all. That's me. You guys know me. Like, I, I have that problem. Even when it comes down to like everybody that comes for dinner, I kind of just want everybody to have that full experience. I learned to stop that problem. All right. What do you think? Very good, man. Mm. Mm. What do you think about the seasoning? Salty? No. Not, not salty, salty, right? No. Because you kind of eat a bit of the outside, a bit of the inside. Mm. Get a lot of goodness all around like this. Let's go for it. Mmm. Heaven. Back in the day, my brothers and friends always went to the casino to get cheap prime rib. <laughs> I, was, I don't know why, where it landed on, but I always landed on, um, I think it was a Thursday, and we always went out for cheap prime rib, like this piece. I think it was like $12. Mmm. What is it? Very good. Can you eat food? Yes. I said that. This is from Alberta. This mm. is the province of Alberta. Mm. This right here. This is from Quebec. Mm. This is from Nova Scotia, the province of Nova Scotia. This is um, Newfoundland Labrador, Quebec. And we got the crab from BC. This is... Um, what is this? The Jig Dinner. Oh. The dig dinner is you pretty much just eat it with gravy. It's the, it's the look like um, sweet potato. Mm, not sweet potato. See. Mm, looks like it, right? Uh, I think I don't think you ever eaten this before. Or that meat before. Oh, it's, it looks like daikon. Ah, yes. Yeah. Kind of does have a daikon taste, I ain't gonna lie. 
I know not a uh, uh, new feast, but they call it new feast, new feast. Um, pour a lot of gravy on this. Mmm. Mmm. Get some soft beef. Oh, you're cutting it on. I think you like that. What do you think, Willow? It's salty. Yeah, it's salty, right? Mm -hmm. Not not too salty, but I think. It's last salty. time I cooked this, it was so salty, but <laughs> I think it's it's perfect this time because um, the Ralphies. Big shout out to the Ralphies. They said you have to wash this twice because it's cured beef. You wash this twice. Mm. Then after you wash it, you have to boil it twice. But I boil it three times. But I just want to say it kind of just tastes like a good pastrami or corned beef. Really good corned beef. That's really good. Big shout out to the Ralphies. Thank you guys. Very good. The chair is a little squeaky today. Mm. Well, I'm going to leave this plate on the side right now. And we'll come after it. What do you think about the hot plate? Mm. What do you think? One to ten. Be honest. Eight. Eight. Okay. That's pretty honest. You can eat it, right? Yes. You can eat it. It's a good number, right? It's a good number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> no, I just say um because Canadian food is different. No. Like she's been in Canada for. I love Canadian food. Yeah, but you've been here for ten days. Mm -hmm. Something. It's just like uh, everybody that goes to another country and you're trying to figure out uh, new new food. And it's, it's very nice to see my wife just open to uh, new things. Okay. This is a very simple sandwich. This is um, just uh, rye bread, the pastrami here, and just uh, mustard. Let's see what my wife likes it. Cheers. Cheers. Spicy. Spicy? Yeah. I kind of mm -hmm. like the spice in this sauce. I like it. Yeah. What is it? It's good, huh? Just spicy. Too spicy? Mm -hmm. Too spicy? Mm -hmm. I think because of the mustard. The mustard and the pepper pepper, pepper from the pastrama. Can you eat it? Yeah. Weird. That's what number? Weird for me. Mm -hmm. Six. Six? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I didn't cook this. <laughs> I didn't feel this. Is that? <laughs> yeah, it's good, but it's spicy mm. and it's weird for me. Yeah, it's, it's weird. weird. Right? I think it's because First of that. I'm, um, I'm either. Either. Mm. Yeah. These are mustard, the pastrami. I got a Costco. It's a very popular um, stall in Canada. Mm. I forgot what it's called. Such, such. But me, in my opinion, as a local Canadian, very good. I really mm. like it. I really, really like it. With the rye bag. Mm. With the Dijon mustard too, but I understand it's mm. it's it's weird, yeah. different, different. Sashimi, no, I'm too, I'm Learn to like it. Mm. You gotta learn to like that. Just like uh, when she ate um, sushi, mm. Mm. she in the beginning she didn't like it. No, you try to catch it just before, right? Mm. You still doing sour? No, it's not sour. No, no? this yeah. one's not hot. I think it's uh, if we eat sweet first, mm. and then we eat um, yes, very sour, very sour. Very sour. Yeah. Then it comes sweet. Now it's yeah. Sweet, right? Mm. All right. Let's see if you like this. Very simple recipe. This is Nova Scotia lobster. Nice bread. I hug your meat, butter, and just light mayonnaise. Mm. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. I love my Dempster bun. Mm. Very good. Very good. Mm? Mm. <laughs> Very good.
เจ้าเฟรมนี้อืมอุ้ย You like the lobster in the beginning already, right? Because you try it without the mayonnaise mm. and the salad. Was that good? Yeah. Here I we love go. it. I love it. Ready? Yeah, no, we no. gotta go to Nova Scotia then. We're coming to Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, wait for us. We're coming. You want some lime or lemon? Because I'm gonna salad. You know what I said? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I wanna take you eat uh, Mexican food because there's a lot of. Sour, sour components and yeah. I want to see a lot of tomato mm. yeah and salsa onions yeah onions raw onions mm. 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 yummy <laughs> I love it mm. 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 Oh. yeah <laughs> this crap <laughs> let me heat this up a bit and break this guy up. Ah. Hey, good looking crab. Mm. This works. <laughs> we have tried, Cana or we did have tried a Dungeness crab in uh, Vietnam one time. It was the only Dungeness crab we got and it was, it was okay because it was the only Dungeness crab in Vietnam. Try it on its own or with butter. Mm -hmm. I'll crack you another one. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. It's still melted and good. Mm. Very sweet, man. It's very sweet? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> wow. Very sweet, right? Not like the one in the Saigon, right? Yeah. It, 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 or better. Mm -hmm. Better. Mm -hmm. I think uh, out of all things, Mm. Very good. Okay. This inside, a little, little dung. <laughs> a little dung. Yeah. Bitter. A little bitter, yeah. <laughs> little bitter for sure. But let's go for it. You try with butter or here? Oh, mm. shoot. Here, try with the butter. No. Oh, try it here. Mm. A dip it. Try with the butter. I'm gonna eat. Here. Mm. Mm. Is that butter? Mm. Too, too much butter? Mm. Too butter? You like it? Yeah, I, like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You know, back in the day, I just love eating crab. Like my mom and I would just sit and just enjoy each other's company and just pick at the crab. Mm, I forgot to give you gloves. Sorry about that. Mm? You wanna wear gloves? So, my wife's uh, family's watching, and she just wants kind of show the crap, the Canadian crap. Oh man, golden nuggets right there. Golden nuggets. Phương, my ba. Cool Canada. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, man? No. No, 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 no. No,